you know i think it is very wise that i just bring this message because it's going to save many lives it's going to save many ministries it is going to save many futures because listen oh my gosh and i'm remembering now that i just came across this other video uh i'm gonna watch it i just booked it that i'm gonna watch it uh, where miles man the late miles monroe was talking about something i'm gonna watch it but now i just looked at the title i'm like i'm gonna watch it later it seems interesting so listen time and time again i keep saying this if you haven't had me before but listen if you haven't had me before i like saying this a lot i see how especially when it comes to gender-based violence how people get trapped when they will narrate the story all the things that happened and i saw one thing that is common you will find that the person apologized while for example he was so abusive to his woman and he would apologize have changed but only to later eventually finally taking the life of a woman or ruining something big from her and that is why in the name of the lord jesus christ you have to be careful okay you have to be careful especially when you're in a situation where you are about to get married you are not yet married because this is where we get trapped sometimes we don't realize how we get trapped you find that we would have been far in life but unfortunately the person you were with held you back it is important because the moment you stay with somebody that's it some people let me tell you they are vision killers vision cree destroyers they won't add into your life but they will just remove when you want to instead of helping adding more they will be just removing that is why sometimes when you separate with somebody it is fair and good to sit down and look at what was what value was this person bringing into my life and i assure you there are some people you will realize that they were needing nothing but all they were doing is to take 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 hence you must be careful from such individuals and some you get married with them in fact let me give you an example with myself i once um separated with somebody because i could realize that this person i think I could just see from a distance. Oh, not in, in fact, let me not say a distance. But you know, when you enter in a relationship with someone aiming for marriage, most of the time, your aim, your mindset is as a, especially as a Christian, is to eventually get married, isn't it? So, with that initial mindset, it is easy to attach because remember, when you just initially met somebody, you are all too good. It's in, it's a honeymoon phase. You don't shout at each other and by the time you start shouting you start the person or start revealing your all your true colors it's at a time where you are already in you're already attached so you're so used to that person so there is a thing here one thing that i've learned i would realize one time i i got out of a relationship out of realizing the love of the money of this person you get what i'm saying i got to see the much the way this person loves money it cut it scared me off that you know what that these are the people whom you find that if i was to be married with her she can even sign up uh or she can even have me killed so that she can have all the things i own or so that she can have my money if she has this so much love for money this she can be capable this has nothing to do this person doesn't love me but they just want what i have they don't care and i started to sit down and i looked everything I was like what are the things this person has done to show you that they love you and that's when it became clear i was like you know what from that moment honestly i just told myself i'm getting out of this i'm detaching and from then i was from there i was even today i'm so grateful that i indeed i made a decision from there and i was grateful of and allow me to tell you that people will think that they love you while they are being toxic men are there to say they love a woman but he's beating her like crazy like she's not a human being but the same person says they love you but they don't know how to show you they love you up until they kill you so that is why at times don't wait for god to come and send fire to consume that person that is why you have messengers like myself who are there to come and remind you even us at times we need somebody to remind us sometimes it is by the grace of god where you just realize and you have the courage to get out without somebody else telling you 
sometimes the very same person who knows everything but you find that what is eating you you can't see it it is good not to be deceived and listen they're gonna text you they're gonna apologize they're gonna kneel down on their knees they're gonna act they're gonna be at their lowest to an extent where you'll be like oh my gosh this makes me heartless if I don't forgive. Look how sorry they seem. Look how this person... Listen very well. I have a special word for you. You must learn to know that the saying is true. Some people can be loved at a distance. That's why Paul said the same thing. Was it in the book of Timothy? I was quoting it uh, not so long. I just keep forgetting this scripture. But he was saying that... He was like... Distance yourself from such person who does not hear our message, but do not consider them as an enemy. Distance them from yourselves from them so that they can be ashamed of their ways and they repent. You see, he said, don't consider them as an enemy, but you are distancing them yourself so that they can feel ashamed. Because some people, if you don't show them that what they are doing is wrong, they don't change. They feel like nothing is wrong. So sometimes that's why sometimes when you distance yourself it is not out of i never ever want to talk to this person i never sometimes it's a way of disciplining a person until they feel ashamed and they repent and then you be cool but that's why it was like but in your heart let that distancing be due to you punishing them so that they repent not because now you hate them now we don't talk anymore and i don't ever know that this one is this one is a way of then that's when you it's, some, it's such a hatred that can even take you to hell. But there is a one for disciplining. That is why when they text you, when you realize this person been toxic, don't always have the mindset that they're going to change. They said so, no, not all the time. Some behaviors have demonic influences. Some behaviors, you won't change them. That is why today we have people who are in wrong marriages and they can say that, yeah, but I thought this person can change. Yeah, when you ask them, the signs were there. And you thought they're going to change. There are things, that's why it's just sometimes it just needs to sit down and we speak about it. But there are traits that indeed you can tolerate that even if the person was not to change them, you know, what they won't hurt me so much. And there are those traits which if you don't get out of there, or even if you are there, the chances of them repenting or changing, they are, they, they, they are extremely slim. Those are the traits which you sh should have zero, zero tolerance for. That is why in the name of Jesus Christ, someone will call you. Someone will text you. Someone who's been toxic. I'm giving you a prophecy right now, okay? Remember this way. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. If it's someone you've been praying that they should call you, you, you wanted a reconciliation, let it be a situation where you pray deeper about it and let it be someone who is not coming to ruin you because the devil has ways, different traps just to hinder our good future, to hinder us, to stand in our way that we end up in wrong marriages, we end up living a toxic life, our lives get shortened by the people we stay with. So let the Lord speak to you and let the Lord be your guide. Don't be deceived by the weakness of your heart. The heart is so deceitful. Who knows it but the Lord? That's what the word of God says. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Amen. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.